touchdown. You look at the 34 of the Aggies. DeAndre Swift made one guy miss. Oh, he cuts back to the inside. Ooh, he plants his foot. Think about that. <laughs> Everything was going to the right, and in a split second, he plants, boom, and again. He plants and then jumps. What? And a double push cut. That's spectacular. This high school coach goes after the dead leg. Holy it looked pretty lively. It me. was a dead leg and then a two foot cut. Go close that door. Pick up seven. Happy go back. Number three in the backfield. Here right from Georgia. It's a little pitch though to the Richard Robertson trying to get to the corner. Got there. First down on Georgia's got some things working. Wow, what's happening, Keith? What's up, huh? Got some playing time. It's good, Willie. Really. Number three comes to the outside. Demetrius Robinson follows it, but his running back clears out the last defensive back to make this thing turn the corner. We told you the red zone almost perfect. So you can just about count on points for Georgia. Yeah, Keith, I see you hustling, buddy. You're on your shit, huh? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about, Keith. You hear me? Come on, get on it, man. Stay on top of it, dog. You hear me? Yeah, that's, that's the move, dude. You hear me? Be your own man out here. Entrepreneurship. You know what I mean? I preach that shit, though. You hear me? I preach that entrepreneurship, bro. You know, go through your process. Do what you got to do. Make the necessary steps. Make the necessary so changes in your life, man. Out of the red zone, Get it out the mud, bro. You hear me? Then benefit you at the end of the day. You hear me? Yeah. That's the goal, man. Keep pushing, bro. You hear me? We bumping on that, Keith. Belief is our passion, man. If you can believe it, you can achieve it, man. We bumping, bitch. You hear me? Straight up. Trying to wait a couple more people come on here, you know, right I don't really like right. hitting people and shit, but, you know, just let everybody know what it is. So I think you know, you got to kind of bring some people on or whatever you did. So the get your message across, you know. Y'all give me a little second, I'm trying to bring some people on. Got a lot of people on my list, you know what I mean? He sucked out that screen right away, sidestepped the potential blocker, watch it right in the middle. He's got his eyes right on number seven. He reached screen now, and he gets it. Beat the block from the receiver and made the play. Came in as the leading tackler and he'll go out of his game and is still the leading tackler on the team. Swift goes out Harry and comes back in. I just hit up a couple of people, man. What's up, Kazo? Charlie, what's happening, bitch? You heard me? We bimping over here, Charlie. You dig? Watching all Georgia and Texas a and them, you dig? Cooking a little something. You know how it is. You know how we do it in the family, you We're going to stay cooking something, you I'm barreling some all. A lot of shit. I'm burning a lot of shit, man. Yeah, man. Throwing down, chilling on the side, being blessed with that. Same guy who yeah. 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 let me show y'all what I'm doing. Dude. Hold on. Let's do it. Hey, boy. So they come out to have a look at him again. Watching the game, bro. Watch yeah. Watching well, Georgia, Texas A&L. You dig? And I just wanted to talk to a couple of people about, you know, and I just wanted to talk to a couple of people about, you know, the Bentwell clothing line, everybody fucking with it. I appreciate that. Love strong. The sales are good. Sales are up. You know, and I just opened up another store, another online store. You heard me? So we popping off with that Bent. Hey, what's up, Nisa? What's happening? 
What's up? What's up, Keith? Yeah, man. You know, I just popped off another uh, online stoop. You dig? But um, a lot of people requesting the bent well. You know what I'm saying? Belief is my passion. So let's face it, man. A lot of people know what it is these days. They know what to be passionate about. They know what they believe so. You know, and you can't confuse, alter, or shake that. You know what I mean? They in tune with what they supposed to be doing in life. So, you know, the belief is my passion. The pimp acronym that I spent off of pimp, which is a negative in some light, you know, for community, like going around using women, abusing women, you know, taking advantage of, you know, situations and coming up off of it. So I just felt like, you know, we needed to do something inspirational and give back to the community and build some insight on inspiring people, man. And we took the acronym BIMP, B-I-M-P. As you can see, all stars in between every letter. You hear me? You know, you're a star in between every letter. So you believe is my passion. If you're passionate about yourself and you got belief in yourself, you're a star in every one of them categories, man. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't no gimmick. This ain't no bullshit. This is real talk, man. Like, really, everybody that's supporting me and been buying the BIMP collections and... You know, from the women, to the kids, to the babies. I mean, all facets of this lifestyle that we live is about encouraging and believing and building up people, you know what I'm saying? Building up each other. So, you know, you living a bimp life, man. You know, you, you on the right path, you heard me? But I just wanted to reflect, because a lot of people hit me up. I just opened an online store dedicated straight to just the clothing line, not the music line, which, you know, we got the music line too. A lot of people still supporting and buying major paid records. You know what I'm saying? A good look for that. But the Belief Is My Passion BIMP line, you know, is really an inspirational clothing line. You know, it's something to believe in that you wear. You know what I mean? And you can tell the world and express yourself to the world every time that you got on any of this type of apparel. You know what I'm saying? Because the conversation piece always be bimp. You know what I'm saying? When I first started, I used to have bimp wear, and everybody used to stop me like, what bimp mean? What bimp mean? What that is? And I explain, you know what I'm saying? Belief is my passion. Everything I'm passionate about, I believe in. And if you're passionate about your belief, because everybody got passion, everybody got belief in something. And if you in tune with that and you locked in with that and your paradigm is into successful situations, then you're going to do everything you need to do to push that agenda to get successful, man. And that's all BIMP is about, you know what I mean? And there is no go around, ain't no in-betweens. It ain't no gimmick, you know what I mean? This is real, man. And real people are gonna connect, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna connect to what you're doing and they're gonna understand that you're really, really trying to inspire and push people for entrepreneurship, push people for be successful, whether you wanna be a lawyer, doctor, chemist, astronaut, engineer like I am in my corporate life, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, man, you know, we bimping over here, man. What's up, Kazo? What's up, Kevin Allen? That's you, baby. You know we about to cut up this month. Yeah, next week, man. Southern versus Grammy. What's up, Tori Paul? We don't fall off. That's another entrepreneur online right now, man. W WDFO. Y'all go to um Tori Paul page, Mastermind. This is um handle in the rap game. Y'all go check him out, man. Tori Paul, you know, WDFO. We don't fall off. You know, that's another inspirational designer that's out here, you know, showing you, you know, you don't have to ever fall and slack off of what you want to do in life. You can keep on pushing, man, and don't fall off, man. WDFO, that's a good brand. You know what I'm saying? Tori Paul, bro. Y'all highlight him on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? DM him or whatever, he can get y'all right too, you know.
know. It's just entrepreneurs in an urban neighborhood supporting each other, doing what's right, and let's build to the top, to this way, this way, that way. Let's go to the top, man. Too much negative going on in our neighborhoods. You know what I mean? So it's time to start pushing the agenda for everybody to really do better and, you know what I'm saying, get better. But of course, you know, it's a New Orleans thing with me, you heard me? Straight from that nine, you heard me? East show, everybody know me, you dig? You know what I'm saying? And it's a black and gold situation today, you hear me? We bimping in black and gold, man, who that? You hear me? Yeah, paying homage to the city, man. Yeah, the thing that supported me. Supported me over 30 years. Made a beautiful life for me, a beautiful situation, you know what I'm saying? You heard the Pelicans, Florida Lee, New Orleans, black and gold, however you want to do it, you dig? To the meat show, you heard me? Yeah, that way. Why? What's on the tour? Man, I'm just kicking it, man. You know, a lot of people been hitting me up, and they've been buying. A lot of bent well. We've been successful, bro. You dig? 2019, moving into the 2020. You know, we've been successful real good with this bent well, man. So I opened the online store, you dig? And uh, everybody been kidding me up. But you know, you can hit me up personally to put your order in. I'll customize it for you, whatever you want to do, man. And um, we'll mail it to you and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? But for all the people that been hitting me up, on my online store today it's getting ready to open it's coming soon it's going through the process everything already done you know we official everything stamped all through all the way through the banks everything you know what i'm saying 100 percent man about to do this man you know because my dreams and ambitions for this is like supporting youth programs supporting youth sports you know what i'm saying just like Home Depot, Lowe's, um, AutoZone, Pep Boys be sponsoring all these games. If you into bimping, man, you can sponsor this too. We're going to be sponsoring it too. I can already foresee, man. You know what I'm saying? I can always foresee what bimping going to be at. College level, high school, pros. We might have a blimp, a blimp that ride around with the bimp. You hear me? If they can sponsor, why well, I can't sponsor? Come on, man. You hear me? We're going to sponsor everything. You're going to see Bimp well, because all athletes believe in their passion. That's why they athletes. That's why they pro athletes, because they believe in their passion. All proficient and, and, and elegance inside the communities of people that achieve actors, lawyers, doctors, football players, you name it. They believe, man. You dead? Yeah, we blessed, man. You know, shout out on your movie career, too, bro. That's a good move, good look, man. I like that, Tori. You heard me? Yeah, man. I like that. You know, we need to get more out of being a regular old Joe's round. You know what I mean? With they training. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you could be a plumber. Oh, you could be a carpenter. Oh, you could be an electrician. Nah, man, you could be a millionaire. You heard me? You can't, you can't leave that shit to your kids that you working, man. They can't inherit your job, dog. You heard me? But I ain't knocking people that got jobs. I'm just saying, well, you got a job and they put you in a position. Do more, man. That 40 hours shit over with, man. You got to think way bigger than 40 hours. A lot of people can't grasp that concept. They just on some 40 hour shit and that's all they good with. I ain't knocking you, bro, but, you know, I can't sleep with no 40 hours, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it, you hear me? I got, like, three, four companies. I got some situations going on right now. But, you know, the bimp well is my vehicle to success. I can remember, like, my teacher back in high school, your day was telling me, what's your vehicle to success? I really didn't know what they was talking about, you hear me? My vehicle to success was playing football. <laughs> I was playing ball, getting it in, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know me, you know how we were rocking, you know? Shit, we playing ball in, in the streets. Fuck, I ain't know nothing about no vehicle to success, man. You know? My success story was stay in college, get a degree, start working for somebody. I ain't got that mindset no more, though, you heard me? 
That's why I'm trying to reach back and talk to people, you know what I'm saying, that might be going through the same transition that I went through. You dig? But you might be better than me at that age or understand where you need to be in, the, in your paradigm better than I did at that age. But for the people that don't and don't understand it, I'm here to, you know, try to guide y'all and give y'all some insight on what needs to be done and how you can prepare yourself. Like I talked to my children, my daughters, you know what I'm saying, my son. I try to tell them, man, you got to get big with this shit, bro. You ain't got but one life, man. And the world don't give a shit about no life no more, man. They taking people out like crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my partner, son. You know what I'm saying? The Devin Estrogen, man. They killed him in Brown City Park this week. The young entrepreneur, 21 years old, had the element on uh, lemonade. Man, outstanding guy. Outstanding young man. And ignorance took him out, bro. You know? That, that's just retarded, bro. We got to get better, man. We got to get better, bro. Them type of people that are running around, bro, just killing innocent entrepreneurs that could have helped other people, brought other people out of the hood and employed people that normally wouldn't get a corporate position or a corporate spot in life. Young Esper John could have made that situation happen for y'all, man. But y'all done killed the man. You know what I'm saying, bro? Man, my condolences to David Esper John and his family, bro, on that, bro. Man, it's crazy, bro. Crazy. But yeah, bro. Not just New Orleans, dude. The whole world, man. The whole world needs to do better, man. We need to get out of that slave mentality, crab in the bucket ass mentality. You know what I'm saying? Let's make everybody come up, man. Each one save one, help one, man. Hey, what's up, Susan? What's good, babe? Yeah, that's another entrepreneur, man. Susan Johnson. She got her own, own restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Cooking soul food, seafood, Creole cuisine, down south, based company. You know what I'm saying? Independent, owner, entrepreneur. You know, y'all look her up on Facebook. You know, she always just playing her food and her plates and her uh, prices and all that, man. That's another entrepreneur, man. Y'all get with it, man. You know? Yeah, Susan Johnson, man. Tory Paul, you know, that's two entrepreneurs that came on already, you know? So, you know, we, we stepping up, bro. We trying to get it in, you know what I mean? My homie, uh, Keith Kamuj, you know what I'm saying? He trying to get his thing going, do his own thing, stepping into another realm to support his kids and lead generation of wealth, too. You know what I mean? That where we at, man. You got to step like that these days, for real, man. Y'all got to step like that. Ain't no problem, Susan, man. I'm, I'm, I'm authentic, you know what I mean? KD authentic, man. We gonna always do what's real. Yeah, yeah we gonna, <coughs> we gonna always do what's authentic, man. That's real. Yeah, man. What's up? All right, what's up, man? Yeah, but uh, yeah, y'all go on the line. And uh, oh, oh, yeah, Susan, give me an invite. Give me an invite. Set it up, man. If I'm free, I'm coming, man. You know, you want to get together, we can do a commercial, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can come down there and do a commercial with you. You know what I'm saying? Network. You know, put your business on my platform. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa, you know? So I can come do a little quick commercial with you. You know what I'm saying? We can make something happen. I ain't, I ain't above that. Oh, yeah. it's smelling good, Katie. <laughs> Smelling good. I need a uh, fiber. A what? Fiber. A beer? What you want, another apple? Yeah. All right, I'm coming. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm on live. Uh -oh. She said it's smelling good. It's smelling good. Hey. Smelling good. Awesome. <laughs> we getting it in, man. Yeah, man. They back there doing another little project. In the back, you know what I'm saying? Little she shed project. I ain't got nothing to do with that, but I'm good with it. 
Yeah, man. Y'all looking good back there? Y'all finished? We done, man. Oh, yeah? Yep. That's what's up. All right. Well, I got something for you when y'all finish. Good. All right. Yeah, man. We we getting it in, man. We hustling, man. All kind of shit be going on every day around the Daniels crib, you heard me? KD be having all kind of shit popping up. For real. I can't do that lazy shit, man. You heard me? But uh, we stepping on a whole nother level, man. We about to get up, man, for this 2020 to move strong, you hear me? Move strong. Entrepreneur type shit, man. Everybody that's on the entrepreneur gang, get at me, man. But, oh, let me get back to what I came on here for. The Bentwell Fashion Line. The website is ready. The store is good. Online store is straight. All right. Okay, KD, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, man, um, like I was saying, we're going to get everything lined up, popping. I got some items on there, a lot of clothing on there. And when you go to the site, like you go to the link in my bio, Facebook, uh, Major Paid Records uh, Paid, uh, Money Bag, you know what I'm saying? We got Team Money Bag. You go to there or you go Instagram, KD underscore CEO. <coughs> You. And you click on the link where I got the clothes at. You're gonna go to the store, you know. And when you go to the store, you can leave your email address. Leave your email address so when the store officially open, they're gonna already know you in the lineup and you're in the email address. And they're gonna start sending you all kind of specials that we got going on, the new clothing that we have, etc., etc., etc. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be in about three stores, too. Yeah, about three stores, you know what I'm saying? We, we got contracts in three stores, man. Yeah, that bimp well, man. We're going to be bimping, man. Mark my word, man. The whole world going to be bimping, man. That's why it's all the way around. That's the whole universe. Bimp. Belief is my passion. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I dropped the phone, but you see that B-I-M-P? Everybody a star. Every level of this belief is my passion. It's a star in between every one of them. You know what I'm saying? And belief is my passion is in the circumference around the inline bent well, meaning that it's a worldwide universe feeling. All right, for all those that didn't know, that's the globe, man. That's the whole world surrounding. The essence of BIMP, man. And we BIMP in there. 2020 to the rest of this thing, man. To generational wealth. My grandkids, great grandkids, great great grandkids. They're going to eat off this, man. Believe that. CEO KD, man. BIMP Well Fashion, man. Major paid records. Bro Dam Entertainment Management Company. Kerry Daniels House Rentals. You get where I'm going at? <laughs> That way, man, we renting houses too, you hear me? But look, holler back at me, man. You hear me? This KD, man. Let's get it. <laughs>